Mamedzaliya Chaleba, Dervish Mamedzali, 25th of March 1611 to 1682, known as Evliya Chaleba, was an Ottoman explorer who traveled through the territory of the Ottoman Empire on neighboring lands over a period of 40 years, recording his commentary in a travelogue called the Siyahat name, Book of Travel. The name Chaleba is a non-horrific title meaning gentleman, see pre-1934 Turkish naming conventions. Evliya Çelebi was born in Constantinople, now Istanbul, in 1611 to a wealthy family from Kutahya. Both his parents were attached to the Ottoman court, his father, Dervish Mehmedzali, as a jeweler, and his mother as an Abkhazian relation of the Grand Vizier Melek Ahmed Pasha. In his book, Evliya Çelebi traces his paternal genealogy back to Kojak Met Yasevi, an early Sufi mystic. Evliya Çelebi received a court education from the imperial Lulama, scholars. He may have joined the Galshani Sufi order, as he shows an intimate knowledge of their Kantke in Cairo, and a graffito exists in which he referred to himself as Evliya Y. Galsani, Evliya of the Galsani. A devout Muslim opposed to fanaticism, Evliya could recite the Quran from memory and joked freely about Islam. Though employed as clergy and entertainer to the Ottoman grandees, Evliya refused employment that would keep him from traveling. His journal writing began in Constantinople, taking notes on buildings, markets, customs and culture, and in 1640 it was extended with accounts of his travels beyond the confines of the city. The collected notes of his travels form a ten-volume work called the Siyahat name, Travelogue. He fought the House of Habsburg and Principality of Transylvania. Evliya died in 1684, it is unclear whether he was in Constantinople or Cairo at the time. Evliya visited the town of Mostar, then in Ottoman Bosnia and Herzegovina. He wrote that the name Mostar means bridge keeper, in reference to the town's celebrated bridge, 28 meters long and 20 meters high. Jaleba wrote that it is like a rainbow arch soaring up to the skies, extending from one cliff to the other. I, a poor and miserable slave of Allah, have passed through 16 countries, but I have never seen such a high bridge. It is thrown from rock to rock as high as the sky. In 1660, Chaleba went to Kosovo and referred to the central part of the region as Arnavud and noted that in Busitran its inhabitants were speakers of Albanian or Turkish and few spoke Bosnica. The highlands around the Tetava, Peck and Prizren areas Chaleba considered as being the mountains of Arnavutluk. Chaleba referred to the mountains of Peck as being in Arnavutluk, and considered the Ibar River that converged in Mitrovica as forming Kosovo's border with Bosnia. He viewed the Klab or Lab River as having its source in Arnavutluk, Albania, and by extension the Sitnica as being part of that river. Jaleba also included the central mountains of Kosovo within Arnavutluk. Jaleba claimed to have encountered Native Americans as a guest in Rotterdam during his visit of 1663. He wrote, They, cursed those priests, saying, Our world used to be peaceful, but it has been filled by greedy people, who make war every year and shorten our lives. While visiting Vienna in 1665-66, Chaleba noted some similarities between words in German and Persian an early observation of the relationship between what would later be known as two Indo-European languages. Jaleba visited Crete and in Book 2 describes the fall of Hanya to the Sultan, in Book 8 he recounts the Candia campaign. Of oil merchants in Baku Chaleba wrote, By Allah's decree oil bubbles up out of the ground, but in the manner of hot springs, pools of water are formed with oil congealed on the surface like cream. Merchants wade into these pools and collect the oil in ladles and fill goat skins with it. These oil merchants then save them in different regions. Revenues from this oil trade are delivered annually directly to the Safavid Shah. Evliya Chaleba remarked on the impact of Cossack raids from Ozak upon the territories of the Crimean Khanate, destroying trade routes and severely depopulating the regions. By the time of Chaleba's arrival, many of the towns visited were affected by the Cossacks, and the only place he reported as safe was the Ottoman fortress at Darabat. Chaleba wrote of the slave trade in the Crimea in 1667. Chaleba expressed his marvel at the Parthenon sculptures and described the building as like some impregnable fortress not made by human agency. He composed a poetic supplication that the Parthenon, as a work less of human hands than of heaven itself, should remain standing for all time. In contrast to many European and some Jewish travelogues of Syria and Palestine in the 17th century, Chaleba wrote one of the few detailed travelogues from an Islamic point of view. Chaleba visited Palestine twice, once in 1649 and once in 1671. 
an English translation of the first part, with some passages from the second, was published in 1935 to 1940 by the self doc Palestinian scholar Stefan Hanna Stefan, who worked for the Palestine Department of Antiquities. Although many of the descriptions the Siahat name were written in an exaggerated manner or were plainly inventive fiction or third source misinterpretation, his notes remain a useful guide to the culture and lifestyles of the 17th century Ottoman Empire. The first volume deals exclusively with Constantinople, the final volume with Egypt. Currently there is no English translation of the entire Siahat name, although there are translations of various parts. The longest single English translation was published in 1834 by Joseph von Hammer Perkstall, an Austrian Orientalist, it may be found under the name of Lea Fonda. Von Hammer Perkstall's work covers the first two volumes, Constantinople and Anatolia but its language is antiquated. Other translations include Eric Prakash's nearly complete translation into German of the 10th volume, the 2004 introductory work entitled The World of Evliat Chaleba, an Ottoman mentality written by University of Chicago professor Robert Dankoff, and Dankoff and Su Yong Kim's 2010 translation of select excerpts of the 10 volumes, An Ottoman Traveler, Selections from the Book of Travels of Evliat Chaleba. Evliya is noted for having collected specimens of the languages in each region he traveled in. There are some 30 Turkic dialects and languages cataloged in the Siahat name. Jaleba notes the similarities between several words from the German and Persian, though he denies any common Indo-European heritage. The Siahat name also contains the first transcriptions of many languages of the Caucasus and Sakonian, and the only extant specimens of written Ubik outside the linguistic literature. In the ten volumes of his Siahat name, he describes the following journeys. Istanbul Kanat Lar Maltanda, Istanbul Under My Wings, 1996, is a film about the lives of legendary aviator brothers Hazar Fan Ahmed Shaliba and Ligari Hassan Shaliba, and the Ottoman society in the early 17th century, during the reign of Murad IV, as witnessed and narrated by Evliya Shaliba. Shaliba appears in Orhan Pamuk's novel The White Castle and is featured in The Adventures of Captain Bottery, Dobrodrust by Capitana Bathoriho, novels by Slovak writer Yuri Servanek. Evliachileva ve alumsuts luk suyu, Evliachileva and the Water of Life, 2014, Dear. Serkan Zel Zel, a children's adaptation of Chaleba's adventures, is the first full-length Turkish animated film. United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization UNESCO included the 400th anniversary of Evliya Celebi's birth in its timetable for the celebration of anniversaries. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.